tomorrow NVIDIA announces their earnings for Q1. In this video, the analysts discuss NVIDIA's upcoming earnings report, expressing confidence in the company's ability to deliver another strong quarter with 2 to 4% rippling growth and 42% earnings growth. They note that NVIDIA's stock is currently trading below its five year PE average, suggesting potentially for a beat and raise and stock pop in the after hours following the report. Now, despite the high bar for earnings due to the stock's growth over the past year, the analysts maintain a balanced perspective, expressing uncertainty about how much of the expected growth is already priced in and touching upon the significant spending on AI technology in the second half of the year. And, uh, one, of the, one of the shows, and he had a really good point that NVIDIA is actually trading at 15% below its five-year PE average. And so that's what I'm talking about. And so I still think that there's this sentiment that sometime in the next quarter or two quarters, NVIDIA is going to start acting like a traditional cyclical semiconductor company where all of a sudden earnings and revenues start growing at a slower pace and decelerating. I think that absolutely will happen, but I don't think it's going to happen until maybe the back half of this year or 2025. So I think you'll see a one handle, a thousand, you know, a thousand on the stock before you see it, before you see an 800. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting 24 hours uh, for certainly holders of NVIDIA like you and, and Josh and, and Jim. Um, what, what do you feel like is at stake as we look ahead to tomorrow? Uh, well, a lot's at stake, and the question is what's going to happen. I totally agree with Bryn's assessment of the company itself. Um, as far as the cyclicality, I, I do think the cyclicality will assert itself, but not in the next one to two quarters. I think maybe in the next three to four quarters. That's obviously not the near term. But, Scott, to answer your question, as I think about the stock right now, I think about this quarter, you know, the estimates from a year ago. And remember, it was a year ago when they had that first blowout quarter that just all of a sudden made people like me understand this was a different company uh, than the usual. Those estimates for this quarter are up 230% from a year ago. That's a lot, okay? They're up 20% uh, in the year to date. And my point on this, we all know what the stock has done, is I would not be surprised, again, uh, to Bryn's point, if you have a beat and raise uh, uh, next, you know, tomorrow afternoon, I would not be surprised if the stock popped at, in the after hours. And I also wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the week it actually trailed off a little bit. Let me be clear. I'm not negative on the stock. I'm long the stock. But there is a point where you have to ask how much of this is priced in. Yeah. I know the earnings estimates going out the next five years are 31 percent annualized growth. That's going to be hard to come by for the next five years. Next two to three quarters, sure. The, the growth uh, now versus then, so to speak, I think we have a graphic to kind of show you what, what is expected. Earnings are expected to be five times greater than they were last year. Mm -hmm. Revenues are poised to more than triple from a year ago. There, there we go. Uh, that's on our wall that, yes, we, we think it's the most impactful earnings report on the S&P right now, just given what that stock has done. It's a you know, near double already in five months. And how much it's responsible for the, look, I mean, there's a fair amount of hype around AI, but they're realizing it too in the way they're monetizing it. So that's why, Steph, there's, there's so much at stake, especially when some are suggesting, boy, the NASDAQ has gone from oversold to overbought uh, seemingly overnight. Yeah, it, well, look, NVIDIA is 5% weight of the S&P 500, but obviously AI touches so many different companies throughout technology, throughout other sectors in the market, throughout the economy, and we're in the second or third innings. I think there are a lot of various different ways you can play that theme. Uh, I'm not in NVIDIA, as you know, but I am in other names that have done quite well over the last two years um, as well. So I think there are, you've got to pick your spots. I think the expectations are quite high for NVIDIA, especially because the hyperscalers gave you that information. They, they told you that the four big hyperscalers, Amazon, Meta, Google, and Microsoft, are going to spend $177 billion in CapEx for cloud and, and generative AI this year alone. That's just enormous, right? And then global CapEx is actually gro going to grow $225 billion this year alone. So mm -hmm. clearly that benefits a lot of companies. NVIDIA is included in that. Um, I think as a result, if let's just say it 
you know, it doesn't, it doesn't meet these aggressive expectations and the stock falls, I really do think you're going to see buyers come in. So I don't think it's going to be down for long, especially given the growth rates that we just heard uh, that, you know, Bryn was talking about, Jimmy uh, was talking about as well. So um, I, I'm just choosing to play it a different way, but certainly it is a very, very important report. Yeah. There's no doubt. By, by the way, Evercore ISI, long and strong into the print, outperform 1160 is the price target. So, Josh, as, as you know, you're, you're, the, you're our guy on NVIDIA. Um, how good does this have to be? We, we know it's, we know the bar is high. How could it not be? Stocks, uh, you know, up 200 and something percent over the last year, up almost a double, as I said, in some five months. The bar has been high, Playboy. And you know what? Every quarter, we're told this is the quarter that something's going to go horribly wrong, and it just hasn't happened yet. Um, so it, look at the last time they reported, which was February. Earnings per share came in at $5.16. The estimate was four sixty-four. Do you have any idea how many times earnings were revised higher to get to that four sixty-four, And they still stepped right over it like it wasn't even there. 22.1 billion in revenue versus 20.6. They crushed that too. The stock went up 16 and a half percent. In response, it had its market cap growth in that single day of 276 billion, the most any company has ha had in, in one day market cap growth ever. So like, it's not like Nvidia is like, oh, it's, it's pretty shaky historically. We know what happens if they come in better than expected. Um, now. To, to the earlier point being made, NVIDIA is already the third best performer in the S&P. In fact, the only two better performers, SMCI is up 224%, Vista Corp, which is a utility, is up 140, NVIDIA is up 90, but all three of them are up on AI stuff. So, like, it's, it's not underappreciated by the market how good NVIDIA is. Oh, so I'm no, trying no to maintain question. a balance, I, I'm trying to maintain a balanced point of view I highly doubt this company will come out, beat earnings, and then have anything other than positive things to say but, uh, uh, you know, about the second half of the year, given the, the rate at which people and corporations are spending on this stuff. What we don't know is how much is already priced in. And that, frankly, to me, is the real thing that's going to be revealed tonight. Yeah, been, been crazy tomorrow. Been oh, crazy. Tomorrow um, yeah. The stock, you know, mm -hmm. goes down to 750 and now it's a 950 seemingly in, in, in you know, snap of the finger.